Hi guys, I've been pretty busy of late and I kind of am working on a longer complex video but I had to take a break from that as well. What I wanted to do here is just an off-the-cuff uh, shortish video, just uh, some ideas I've been having. Um, and the direction I want to go in is basically that we have this whole situation, as we all know, about marriage and not dating and all of that stuff. Now just as the mechanized world has offered women new opportunities, opportunities they took advantage of, opportunities that let them, well, essentially uh, leave a model, a uh, familial model, a societal model that they didn't want to be in anymore, uh, I think we would be uh, amiss if we didn't also have a look at those opportunities that we as men have. It's a pretty simple equation at the end of the day. Let's for the moment, for the purposes of this discussion though, not uh, talk about the whole reproductive aspect. Obviously I'll mention it right now. The whole reproductive aspect, yes, that is the, is the driving force, driving force of all species and ultimately that's probably what uh, so many reasons, but that's one of the most compelling forces uh, as to behind why men decide to uh, conjoin with women and uh, conjoin uh, in the nuptial sense as well. But let's for the moment just leave that out. The simple question is, you know, leaving out the pure reproductive aspect is um, cost efficiency. Yeah. What I mean by cost efficiency is there are all these opportunities out there for men as well uh, the, in terms of leisure, in terms of uh, activities. The question has to be now, is it worth it? Now in the olden days when I was <laughs> still a blue pillar in the, in the matrix, I still had the equa saw a similar equation in my head, meaning, namely uh, a, relationship, a relationship shouldn't be stress, and yet most of the time it was, and sometimes it was extremely stressful. What I'm proposing here is, um, it's, a ter and it's a sense of competition. Well, can a relationship with a woman compete with the alternatives? Now, uh, hanging out with your friends, uh, the gaming world, I mean, I know I'm constantly berated for being a gamer and what have you, but I know I have a lot of gamer subscribers, and the fact is, there are just so many fun, enjoyable, interesting opportunities in gaming. If you want to mod games yourself, if you just want to play enjoy, I mean, there's just there are endless opportunities there, just as an example, um, that really just let you kind of enter your own world and th the point is it's fun. It's fun as hell and there's just basically no stress involved. Uh, and that's the question. That's just one example. Is the alternative being offered in a relationship with a woman? Yeah, there's the sex, okay? But what about all the other things, all the other stress involved, uh, all the other concessions you have to make? Is it really worth it? Uh, and there's just so many opportunities due, through mechanization, uh, due to mechanization available to men as well that uh, it, it it doesn't, to my mind, and of course this should be obvious to anyone who's been on my channel for a while, it doesn't seem to be worth it really. Yes, there's the reproductive aspect, and that is a separate issue for the time being, but what's the alternative? Um, can a relationship offer you more fun, more enjoyment, less stress, and more leisure than the alternatives of being single? And just enjoying what you do at the end of the day, taking advantage of all the other things that are available in this modern era. Well, for one thing, uh, let's look at internet porn. I mean, it, 10 years ago there wasn't nearly as much. Now there are you know, tons of channels. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll reveal something. I think at this point in time my perceptions of sex is that uh, I think it's o highly overinflated. Now, I might be accused of uh, just never having any good, having had any good sex. That's not true, though. I have had some good sex, but it's been very rare. I mean, I, I can, uh, you know, maybe twenty percent of the cases, and uh, that maybe I've just had bad luck in that respect. But the simple fact is that I think sex itself is overinflated for obvious reasons. I mean, 
we, we live in a society based on our biological drives and of course uh, sex drive is part of it and so it, it, it becomes overinflated, it becomes hyped up, it, it, beco it beco becomes uh, something that has an increased value which is why of course we're most men are still chasing after women and just, just for the sake of having sex. Uh, you know, the simple fact is that most of the time, uh, to be perfectly honest, I would have just preferred to have stayed home, wanked off, and got it over with, and got on with my day, and d did uh, done something more product productive than that. And uh, that's how I kind of view it now, which is why porn is a really good outlet, and it's available everywhere. Um, you see lots of complaints these days online about women complaining about their boyfriends watching too much porn or the husband. See. The the reason being that uh, it's quick, it's efficient, and you don't have anyone complaining afterwards. And you don't have anyone you know whinging or creating a stressful situation. And to be honest, let's just think about some, the the evolving mind, right? Uh, yeah, I mean the sex drive that we all have is the most primitive thing out there. But I mean, how many times have you just felt this? the urge, you're feeling randy or whatever, and you just you just would prefer not to. You'd prefer just to, I don't know, read a book or uh, play tennis or <laughs> play a computer game or take a walk or do whatever. You, there's just so many other things you prefer to do and yet it's, it, it, this, this addictive call is, is sort of urging you in the back of your mind to sort of do something about it. And of course that's natural. But what I'm talking about here is a sort of evolved mind moving past that. What's so? Let's be honest. I mean, what what really is the 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 charm of something that most of the time is not really that great, that uh, is time consuming in, in acquiring it, and well, I mean that, that's just my perspective on it. I, I just it's not that I've lost interest in sex. It's just been more that. Uh, it's it's th the urge is just kind of more of a, an, an annoyance more than anything else, and it's something I just like to get out of the way. Um, and that, you know, devoting all your time is another argument for being a man going your own way over this particular variant. Another argument to suggest that you know, per, I mean, pursuing women primarily for the reasons of sex, um, you know, just there's just no point because regardless it's going to require an expenditure of time, energy, and possibly though not always money and I just prefer not to do that ultimately. Um, I, I've officially reached the point in my understanding of things I just have, I just I, I can't imagine chasing after women to do that. Uh, now that coupled with you know, all the opportunities that are available to us um, you know, it's just uh, the, the the question is, can women, can relationships compete with all the things that men like to do? You know, one thing that we, we've we received, uh, or have, dr have had drilled into us since birth, and it's you know manifestly apparent, is that men are the doers, right? Men have created civilization, and we men are individually fascinated by virtually everything, I mean, depending on the individual interests and needs and wants. And so there are just so many things that you can explore. Now, right now, I've just started learning how to uh, script um, some scripts for uh, Skyrim, uh, which is a game some of you might know. I'm just at the baby stages. I don't even know how far I'll get in because time constraints and things like that. But there's just so many. The world is a fascinating place. And uh, my, my, when I enjoy things in the world, it's usually it usually involves understanding some aspect of it or just uh, learning, I mean, and the new things. It's not just the world that's always been, which has always been fascinating, you know, as, as the Greeks called the uh, the, physis, the the nature itself. It's I mean, all these things that we have now. Uh, if it, I haven't delved into it, but I'm using Audacity right now. Sound editing techniques, I mean, I've learned a little bit about that, and I have used it in the past to improve certain things. But they're just constant, 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 constant new things coming into existence. This is provide endless fascination. I mean, I remember way back, Barbara Russell made a video um, about the uh, something along the line of the achievements of the of the mind being equally as interesting, and I think in some much, and I would agree with them, obviously more so than just chasing after tail. I, I I just, I just can't, un I can't understand it anymore. I mean, I can understand it logically, rationally, and of course, I have a sex drive as well. But 
it just it just don't find it very interesting. Uh, and so, and I think that's what happens, you know, when you reach, I guess, for lack of a better word, an advanced stage of going your own way, where you just think, well, <laughs> uh, just not, you know, what what is what is the, what is the uh, the charm in it all? I mean, can 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 a woman compete? That's the question, uh, and I, I think, for the most part, uh, it's simply not true. The only thing they can offer is uh, is sex. Name me one, and uh, apart from the sex, name me one uh, aspect of things where they can compete. They provide less. Okay, can they compete with male friends in terms of intellectual conversation? in terms of real support, in terms of uh, actually being interested in what makes you tick as a, per as a person, exchanging ideas, no. Uh, can they compete with uh, all the leisure activities out there? Uh, no. Uh, in fact, <laughs> you know, the, the, I just don't see the argument there. Anyway, I didn't want to make turn this into a big rant, but uh, I just had these thoughts this morning, and I just thought I probably, uh, I, could, I could get them out there, uh, even if it's a bit discombobulated. But just food for thought, that as you advance along your path, as you're going your own way, you just begin to realize that in terms of cost efficiency, you know, uh, it, it just isn't really worth it. I mean, yeah, the sex, the reproduction, totally different discussion, but I mean, th that, but remember, that, that was all based on enormous compromise. I mean, men, men confine themselves to uh, essentially a form of slavery. Uh, although w with certain perks in the past, just so they could uh, they could get their 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 genes out there, and uh, if you look at the bigger picture like I do, uh, the whole genes question is well a bit overrated. Uh, we're talking about geological time, you know, universal time, things like that. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully, if I'm lucky. Uh, by the end of next week, probably more more in about two weeks' time, I'll be able to get this uh, next large, very complicated video. I I I ar I arguably say the one I'm working on right now might be my most ambitious, just because it requires a lot of understanding of uh, of technical things and what have you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, uh, everyone take care. Have a nice day.